the biggest threat to Diffie-Hellman key exchange is the so-called bucket bracket attack. It is a kind of man-in-the-middle attack. That is, Trudy, the adversary, can intercept the message YA that Alice sends to Bob, and instead, Trudy sends her own YX to Bob, and fooling Bob to accept this as YA. Likewise, Trudy intercepts YB that Bob sends to Alice, and instead sends her own YX to Alice, fooling Alice to believe that YX is actually YB. And the result is that the shear key that Alice computes is actually the shear key between Alice and Trudy. And likewise, the shear key that Bob computes is actually the shear key between Trudy and Bob. In other words, Trudy plays Bob to Alice and Alice to Bob. This man-in-the-middle attack is possible because the Diffie-Hellman key exchange protocol does not authenticate Alice or Bob. For example, there's no way for Alice to know that the message that she receives is really from Bob. There are a number of ways to fix this. For example, everyone, for example Alice and Bob, can publish her or his public key, YA or YX. That is, instead of having to send it and risk interception and forgery, just publish YA or YB at a public trusted site. Or, if Alice has already published her RSA public key, she can sign YA when she sends it to Bob, so that Bob would know that YA is really from Alice, because Bob can verify that using Alice's RSA public key. 